My name is Jennifer Zack and I own Zack Coaching. I provide coaching and development services for leaders and I specialize in a few different areas uh, in coaching, in applying the LCD model within the, the, the coaching arena, somatic awareness and people analytics. I've uh, been providing and continue to provide our ample learning assets. And one of the big factors in the model is identifying personas. So the learning becomes very personal. You, you are catering to the, to the learner and the coaching environment allows me a perfect space to cater to my, to my learner, to my client. I get to know them on a very personal level of what they want to learn, what they need to learn. And then I can go out and find those specific learning assets for them so that they are not spending their time learning, looking for those assets. Rather, they are spending their time uh, learning and applying. What I really love about the model is that it puts the learner in the driver's seat. When the learner is in the driver's seat, they're far more engaged. What they learn really sticks and they are able to apply their learning in a very special way that not only makes a difference for them, but it makes a difference for their team and in a wider scope for their organization. I love the experience. I love the community. It is so great to come together with people that are interested in shaping learning for our, our modern day learning. Our, you know, we need to learn fast and we need what we will pull from, you know, any kind of resource. I'm always learning something new on the, the monthly dialogue. Uh, and, and Crystal does such a great job of facilitating those dialogues so that we all have the, the opportunity to learn together. It's good stuff. But now with all of the digital resources we have available to us, we, we can take learning beyond training where appropriate. And for me, I find that most appropriate when working with senior leaders. I can see us moving beyond the, the one and done approach. And really what I vision is, you know, the L and D practitioner working closely with the leader to identify the on the job behaviors, then being able to come full circle and evaluate, how did we do? How did we do with changing those behaviors? How did it impact the organization so that the organization can see the value of L&D and their relationship with a coach and begin to see the patterns that really work within their organization and continue that with their, their leadership and create really kind of a learning culture. Mm -hmm.